Hi Year 2, for today's writing lesson we're going to be looking at the structure of our text. Okay, so what I want you to do first is either listen to the audio recording of our text, which I've just linked in on our slides here, or read the text for yourself just to recap what our text is and maybe think about the features as you're listening or reading. So pause the video, have a look and come back. Okay, so today we're looking at how our text is structured. Okay, the way it's kind of set out and the different things in each part. Okay, so our text is structured a bit like this. There's a heading right at the top and then a little introduction that tells us a little bit more about rainbows. It's just a little bit of information. Then we have subheading one and then underneath there, information. Another subheading and information. And then our third subheading, information and a little fascinating in fact at the bottom. Now within these kind of subheadings and the information there is pictures and there's labels and there's captions okay all within the information part underneath the subheading okay so what we're going to do is we're probably going to draw our little pictures or our keywords into our gaps in our uh, structure sheet okay so I'm going to show you how to do it with this one okay so I do. Headings. So I've got rainbow here. So what I would do is I could write rainbow because that is my heading. Okay, this is the top of my sheet. I just put it, put it on one slide just to make it a little bit easier for me to look at just when I'm explaining it to you. Okay, so rainbow. So I could, I'm going to write rainbows, but you could draw one in your book. Okay. Introduction. Now, introduction is my little bit of information underneath my heading, but it's before my subheading, so it's the bit in between. So it's this bit here. A rainbow is an arc of colour in the sky that can be seen when the sun comes out or after a rainstorm. So I could draw an arc. So I remembered what shape an arc is because it was in the glossary. So an arc, okay. I could draw a sky, so I could draw kind of clouds, maybe a little bit of blue can be seen when the sun comes out so I'll draw a little sun and then during a rainstorm I'm going to draw some rain okay I can't do this on my computer because I'm not that good but imagine if I've done all of that so then I'd probably jot down my keywords so arc of colour sky and then I could say when the sun comes so I might want to say sun comes out during or during after rain okay so that's what i would do okay so i've kind of had done this to help you a little bit out because it is quite a big text and it's kind of difficult to know which part is which so this is our title and as i said our introduction goes underneath our title which is our heading okay and before our subheading one so this part here is our introduction this bit here is our subheading one and the information and the pictures, okay? So that's all you need to write about for subheading one, okay? And this is still up here, it's still subheading one because we've not had a we've not had a gap yet, we've not had our next um, subheading. But this is in bold just because it's a key word, okay? It's in our glossary. Subheading two is what we see, if you can see there. And then this is all in subheading two. So this is all the information that you need to write about. So you'll do your keywords and some little pictures to help you remember what's in what part. And then subheading three is actually our oh, subheading two takes you up to there. And then where are rainbows is actually our third subheading. So subheading two is quite short. And then we have fascinating fact within our subheading three. That's how I want to lay it out on your sheet. So what you'll do is you can either draw it out, okay? Or if you can find a way to draw your pictures and maybe get pictures from the internet to help you out, there is a Google Doc attached. And I've also put the actual text itself because you will need to keep referring to that to see which, which is in what part, okay? So I look forward to seeing your little pictures and seeing how how you understood the structure of the text. Let me know how you get on year two. I'll see you soon.